Hi, I'm Christopher. On this episode of Racial Diet, we are going to be talking about Eurasian cuisine. For years, our little island of Singapore has been a colourful, multiracial, secular society. Forming close bonds, regardless of race, language or religion. Besides having a multiracial society, Singapore is also known for its wide variety of food from different ethnic groups. Hence, it's no mystery that Singaporeans are consuming each other's dishes. In fact, just looking at the stalls here, you can see the various ethnic foods available. And this is just one of the hawker centres in Singapore. But of course, some ethnic foods you just can't find at the coffee shop below your house. For example, the dish of the day, the Eurasians' devil curry. The Eurasians brought in devil's curry when they first stepped into Singapore. It is the most notable and iconic of their cuisine for its unique taste and spicy aftermath. No, I don't have idea. Yeah. Yeah. Eurasians are like mixed blood people. People of mixed races. White people. They don't necessarily have to be all white. They could be also like, could be mixtures like Indians and... I don't know, yeah. Indians and Malays like um, other countries. Yeah. Uh, you're from the European countries? It's just a mixture of races. I think Europeans and Asians are descendants of the lineage. <laughs> It's a mixture la, uh, uh, intermarriage. La. Uh, not in particular, but I like Western food. So I guess if that is counted. Uh, yeah, Western food. I've had, I've had shepherd's pie. <laughs> oh yes, the devil's curry. Devil's curry? Uh, I would say yes, because Western food is a common common uh, delicacy for young kids. Actually, I mean, they probably know who Eurasians are, or, or what they are, and, and what lineage they should come from, but maybe not the kind of food, or their exact culture, because there are differences, there are quite different number of cultures. Not really. No. We haven't, I don't think they have. <laughs> I doubt so. Maybe not lah. I think unless those who are adventurous enough, lah, maybe they dare to try lah. Other than that, I think they keep to their own food. You see, the Chinese keep to the Chinese, the Malays keep to the Malay food. You see? I think all of them have. I think they are not exposed fully really to like the different kind of Eurasian food that they have. Seems like not many Singaporeans know about Eurasian food. So let's find out what exactly is Devil's Curry from local Eurasians, Mrs. Tolson and Mr. Pereira. Devil's curry is uh, a very traditional Eurasian uh, curry that is usually served on Boxing Day, the day after Christmas. Uh, you know, on Christmas you always have parties, you have uh, yeah, the roasted chicken, you have ham, you have uh, bacon, things like that. So the next day, with the leftovers from this meat, you actually make it into the devil's curry. And it's uh, very, very spicy. And the term devil's curry, actually devil is, it's not devil, but actually the bal. The bal in uh, Patua Portuguese, uh, crystal the language that uh, we speak, it means leftovers. So it is a curry, a leftover curry. See, so from the bal, the bal, since the curry was very spicy, very hot, <coughs> people got used to the, uh, you know, the name as in devil, devil, devil. So that's how devil curry came about. The ingredients in devil curry is uh, mainly chicken, um, uh, potatoes, carrots, uh, of course, a lot of chilli, uh, dried chilli, uh, onions, um, for myself, I put bacon bones to give extra flavour 
and um, it, it, you have to put a bit of mustard and a bit of vinegar. Initially, you have to start off with uh, frying your spices, uh, which is the chilies, the ground, ground chilies, as well as the uh, onions and a little bit of ginger and onions. Uh, once you fry that, uh, then you add in your chicken, uh, your potatoes, carrots, and uh, let it cook. Uh, once it's half cooked, then you can add in your bacon bones, and we put in Chinese sausages as well. Um, lastly, towards the end, when it's almost done, then you add the vinegar, you add um, a bit of mustard seed, uh, ground mustard seed, and yeah, that's almost how you make curry devil. Then I have collected 34 different recipes just on curry devil. Even my own family recipes, uh, there are two, two different kinds of uh, curry devil. But the main ingredients for curry devil will be mustard seeds, are there mustard seeds or mustard and vinegar? Um, I learned it all from my mum. My mum was the one who handed down the um, recipe for curry devil. So it's from her mum, so it's over generations. Do add in pickles. Um, usually during Christmas time, uh, my mum makes pickles. Pickles made of um, vinegar and um, carrots, cucumbers. And you can also add that. Uh, during Christmas, what we, when we make it a bit more different is we add in the pickles, so it gives a little bit different flavour. My grandmother used to say, the difference between uh, Indian food and Malay food. Okay? Indian food, they use seed spice. Seed spice. Yeah. Uh, cinnamon, cumin, uh, pepper seeds, yeah. things like that. Whereas Malay spices, you use uh, <coughs> root spice, ginger, turmeric. Oh. Uh, lemon grass, so it's all from the roots. Yep. You see, so Eurasian food is a blend of root spice and seed spice. I see, I see. Okay. So that's how you get Eurasian food. Oh, right. So now you know much more about the food of the Eurasians in Singapore. What taste would be left in your mouth if you tried it? <laughs>